If there were a theme park for science buffs, it might look like the California Science Center, the West Coast's largest hands-on science museum. The museum has a high wire bike, real space capsules, more than 100 interactive exhibits, and hordes of starry-eyed children, perfect for budding Einsteins and confirmed mad geniuses. From the moment you walk through the doors, it becomes very apparent that this isn't your typical museum. This is a place to learn about the wonders of science through numerous interactive exhibits and demonstrations. Creative World showcases advances humans make to fill the needs for communication, structures, and transportation. Explore how light can be bent and directed using prisms and fiber optics. How the eye perceives both motion picture and 3D images is explained and demonstrated. Build your own structure and see if it has the strength to withstand an earthquake, or how arches can be self-supporting. Learn about the strength in a triangle and what its uses are in construction. In the Earth Resources display, means of conserving energy and protecting the environment are explained. A display of alternative fuels and their advantages illustrates our ongoing quest to move away from oil. One such option is solar energy, and here you can race miniature cars using that power. A cutaway automotive engine gives us a peek into what goes into powering our cars, and the intricacies of automotive axles and braking and how they work are also made clear. See in detail how car design goes from sketch to polished scale model, and design your own with the hands-on computers provided. In the world of Life Center, you will discover the connections between all life forms with a trip down the life tunnel and into the exhibits beyond. In the cell lab, you can check out bacteria, protists, and fungi and see how the five life processes can be observed even in these microscopic organisms. A cutaway model demonstrates how our bodies process food through digestion, complete with sound effects. Mice and lizards help you to understand how cold and warm-blooded animals differ, and how different animals' blood circulation brings oxygen to their bodies. Compare heart sizes of different animals and how much blood their bodies carry. This is an elephant's heart, and the bottles represent how much blood he carries in his body. Many animals develop inside eggs. See eggs in an incubator and new chicks hatching. The exhibit also compares the sizes of eggs from different animals, including dinosaurs. Also see the stages that a tadpole goes through to become an adult frog. And a video game-like simulator illustrates the effects of driving while drunk. From early aircraft concepts to the DC-8 jetliner and A-12 spy plane, the Center's Air and Space Museum will take you to a realm previously known to only birds and extraterrestrials. Launch tiny gliders to see how wings ride the wind. A simulator allows you to reenact the Wright brothers' first flight. Cutaways allow you to see how jet engines produce thrust. Take a seat in a real Bell 47G5 helicopter and learn firsthand about its instrumentation and controls. Scale models of satellites are suspended mid-air to give a glimpse of man's efforts and progress in the heavens. Actual space capsules from the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs give you an up-close, almost hands-on feel for the tight confines of pre-space shuttle flight, along with wall charts detailing mission facts and objectives. Samples of meteorite fragments are beautifully displayed for your inspection, along with description placards. This is but a glimpse at what the museum has to offer. Admission to the museum is free. Tickets are required for the high wire bicycle, motion simulator, and cave climb, but an attraction pack ticket for all three will save you $3 and is only $7. The Science Center is located in Exposition Park, which is easily reached on Metro Lines 81, 200, 442, and 550, all of which stop right in front of the museum. For more information, visit the Science Center's website at www www.californiasciencecenter.org Then use Metro's trip planner at www.metro.net And go Metro!